WGN's Shannon Halligan is joining us now with details. Shannon. Yeah, President Joe Biden's motorcade left the White House around 3.30 Sunday morning. He arrived in Kyiv, Ukraine 20 hours later. The secretive visit was in the works for months, marking the first time in modern history that a U.S. leader visited a war zone outside the protection of the U.S. military. President Joe Biden pulled up to Mariinsky Palace in Ukraine. It was all part of an unannounced visit to meet with President Volodymyr Zelensky days before a significant anniversary. You know, one year later, Kyiv stands and Ukraine stands. Democracy stands. The Americans stand with you and the world stands with you. The surprise trip was a gesture of solidarity and a defiant display. In Kyiv, President Biden announced additional U.S. assistance, but no new advanced weaponry. And that doesn't count the other half a billion dollars we're going to be we're announcing with you today and tomorrow. That's going to be coming your way. Thank you for letting me come back. The two presidents visited St. Michael's Cathedral. Cathedral bells chimed at 11.30, followed shortly by air raid alarms. The trip by President Biden came at a crucial moment as the war is expected to intensify with both sides preparing for spring offensives. We know that there'll be very difficult days and weeks and years ahead, but Russia's aim was to wipe Ukraine off the map. Putin's war of conquest is failing. The visit by President Biden was unprecedented by a sitting U.S. president. It was something Illinois legislators applauded. Representative Mike Quigley said the visit sends a clear message. Senator Dick Durbin said the president made history with this monumental trip. I will tell you a year ago, if, if someone were asked, is that possible once Putin is invaded that our president could visit the capital of that country, most people would have said impossible. In fact, by then it will be a Russian state. It didn't happen because of the courage and determination of the Ukrainian people, the NATO alliance and the United States who are standing behind them. They're fighting for our values and I'm happy to be on their side. That is so important signal for us and all we are proud of it. Thank you very much for coming, Mr. President. That is a huge moment of supporting of the Ukraine. And we learned that U.S. officials gave Moscow notice of the president's trip in advance. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said the White House did alert Russia some hours before President Biden's departure from the White House. All right, Shannon, thanks so much.